Hello, hi. If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. All right, cool. Enjoy the video. But anyway, and they want to start for, yeah, they, they really do want to style for you. Girl. Oh, I guess I am going into this roundabout the view experience. Ah, <sighs> like, they, they really do want to style for your growth and whatever, because like, um, like they just had their, 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 I don't know, town hall, their, their patch notes thing the other day, where they like, talk about the changes coming to Twitch, and we're changing discoverability and whatnot, and apparently, because I did not know this in the years that I've been researching this, um, there was a limit on the amount of channels that would be pushed into like, people's recommended feeds and whatever, and, uh, um, not necessarily the for you page, like the home page and whatever. There was a limit on that. And they were like, yeah, we're doubling the amount of channels that we're going to put in there. And I'm like, you mean to tell me that there was a limit on that? And people didn't get like cycled in or cycled out or whatever. It was just a thing. Like, wow, cool. Would have been nice to know. But, you know, then again, it's not like you, you would have been able to uh, manipulate it in any way, shape, or form. However, right, so they say that they're doing that, and I guess we'll have to wait a while to see, like, just how well that works. Because they say it's designed to help push out smaller streamers and whatever, which, if it actually works out for people, cool, awesome, love to see it. Keep doing that, Twitch, you're, you're on the path to finally making the right moves, whatever. Right, but the other problem that is still an extreme problem is the viewer experience, right? Because, because when you want to tab around and check people out, whatever, uh, you would have to, you know, click the stream and see what they're on about. But the problem is because they want to keep pushing ads all the time, whatever. As soon as you click into a stream. If you do not have an ad blocker, you run the risk of being immediately hit with like, I don't know, 15, 30 second ad, right? And because people do not like ads, they're just going to immediately click off and go to someone else or refresh the page, hoping that the ad will be gone. And then they get hit with another one and they're unskippable. You can't do anything about it, right? So that alone makes people be like mm, actually i'm gonna go somewhere else because i don't want to sit through this ad just to see if i like someone or not right that is the thought process of most people that use twitch which unfortunately sucks because for people like i should use my myself as an example right i've had people be like yeah dude your streams are awesome like your content is great why don't you have more viewers and i'm like <laughs> well first of all there's one big reason i could get into that but uh the main reason well no the the other big reason behind that is ads like like i've had people tell me that like Oh yeah, dude, you know, th this and that was cool, but like, I missed this and I missed that because I got hit by an ad. Or, I clicked into your stream and you were like, like, talking about some like real serious, some like real heavy. Or some like, some personal stuff or whatever. Or something that a lot of people should be talking about. But, got hit by an ad and I just clicked off. And I went back and watched it in the VOD, which the VODs too, also have ads in them all over the place. Talk about that part later, but like... Yeah, it, it, it's the fact that, like, you get hit by an ad that's, that's between 10 to 30 seconds long and is unskippable every time you mosey around and want to check people out or whatever. No one wants to sit through that, dog. And it's not like we, the, the, the streamers, can just turn them off completely because they're going to run regardless, right? You know, in, in, the, in, in the ads manager thing that you can set up in your dashboard... Or if you have it set up as an OBS uh, widget, you know, you can toggle it to where it can be like, oh, every 15, every 30, every 45 minutes, it'll go off, right? You can't turn that off. You, There is no way you can completely rid your channel of ads, right? And to be fair, right, 
they've had enough people complain about them to where they're like, okay, we'll put in like in in viewer ads or 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 banner ads. That way, they don't get rid of the stream. They don't cause you to miss out on pivotal moments, which on one hand is a neat solution but the problem is that no one wants them period at all but at the same time i fully understand that twitch is a corporation and twitch needs advertisers to do advertiser things and blah 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 i get that i fully understand that but the 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 extreme super ultra aggressive implementation of it is the problem because because the banner ads are still rolling out to people it is not it is not a universal thing that everybody has right and they've even tried to do like oh well like we'll do it in in a in a mini player so that will like the stream will be shrunken down somewhere on your screen but you can still see it you can see it but you can't hear anything which is again a problem that no one wants to continue to deal with right so you got all that severely impacting the viewer experience right now it's different if you know you have someone who is willing to sit through the ads to see if they like you or whatever. That's cool, right? That is few and far between because a lot of people that consume content from what I personally wit witnessed, what I know, and what I've researched, whatever, people just want to click in, take like, I don't know, maybe five, ten seconds to see if they find something that they like. If they don't, they move on, right? That five to ten seconds immediately kicks in the moment the stream page loads, right? And if if in the process of those five to ten seconds that gets interrupted at any point, they're just gonna go. They're just gonna go somewhere else. Like like at the blink of an eye, they're gone, right? A potential viewer, a potential fan, a potential follower, a potential longtime watcher of you gone just like that now is that does that also you know present room for like a conversation about general attention span yes but i'm not licensed to talk about attention span at that level anyway so now that we've you know discussed the initial issues with viewer experience and whatever let's also talk about how the automated timer on the ads like really really messes with like the in the moment situation or whatever right because like you know let let's say let's say as example someone is playing i don't know final fantasy 16 or devil may cry 6 or like it, insert some company here with a brand new AAA game that everyone is super ultra giga hyped for right and people are playing it and someone is about to beat the game for the first time and whatever and people are like, yeah, 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 they're excited, they're excited, and whatnot. And the streamer is all hyped up, and they deliver the final blow, or do the final thing that completes the game, boom, an ad. And it's an unskippable ad that covers up the whole screen, and you just so happen to get hit with, like, like three of them. Because it's the 90-second automated ad, right? So that's three 30-second ads you cannot skip! And you miss out on being in the moment with that streamer with the rest of chat because you got hit by an ad and you cannot celebrate at that moment in time with them. You cannot jump up and shout in joy and be like, yeah, yeah, awesome. That was great. Yada, yada, yada. You can't celebrate and chat all at the same time because you're all not seeing the same thing at the same time. And that also impacts the viewer experience because people really do enjoy being able to say i was there i was in the moment you know i was here when it happened and whatever whatever people like that people love that but getting in the way of making that happen is a problem because there have been plenty of streams like plenty of streams 
plenty subathons or plenty of like like special events that would be taking place in whatever and like like i don't know someone someone would drop uh like like a hundred gifted subs on whatever or someone would do something monumental or the streamer themselves do something monumental during their event and because of the automated ads getting in the way of being in the moment as a viewer and interrupting the viewer experience the moment is lost and it will not come back because watching it in a VOD as compared to watching it in real time are two extremely different things. And the impact does not and will not weigh the same and whatever. And like, like that, that's a problem because you should not need minimum two ad blockers to comfortably watch a twitch stream because because like a lot of people just use their general internet for just doing whatever and having ad blockers right because no one likes ads no one likes to pop up shit no one wants to sit through that garbage because it's, it's, it's garbage right but with twitch right Every so often before I found the one that I have now that works wonders for me. Not to mention the one that comes built in with Opera GX, right? I, I have a third ad blocker just in case the other one stops working because that has happened to me before. Which, again, I should not need three different ad blockers to watch Twitch streams without interruption because... I, I I don't have the pocket money right now to subscribe to everyone that I frequently watch on Twitch to, you know, put a little extra coin in their pocket and to get rid of the ads, right? I can't do that. I want to watch them. I do watch them because watching them is a way of support and whatever, but, but I should not need three ad blockers to watch them in peace without the stream being interrupted by some crap I don't want to see. That that is that is infuriating. Beyond infuriating to me and for many 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 other people. That is a problem. And then on the subject of things being a problem, when they rolled out their ads incentive program to where it's like, "Hey, if you stream X amount of hours and run X amount of minutes of ads per month. We'll just give you this flat fee for running all those ads. The 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 time to ad ratio that they asked people for when they initially started rolling this program out was crazy, dog. Cause it was like it was like like three th so some people was being asked to run five minutes of ads every hour. Three minutes of ads every hour, bro. That is doing way too much, man. No one wants to sit the sit the no one wants to do thirty seconds of ads, and you want creators to sit up here and run multiple minutes of ads every hour over the course of an entire stream because there are plenty of people out there who stream for five six seven ten twelve hours at a time per stream and you want people to constantly be hitting the ad button to run the ads so that way they can you know meet the Meet, meet the horrendous quota that you imposed upon them just so they can get a bag that may or may not even be that much because I've seen people like uh uh post their um their um their incentive offers on Twitter and whatever and it'd be like oh we'll give you a hundred bucks if you run like a don equivalent amount of ads over a month and shit and it's like dog you want you, you want someone to run to run like five minutes of ads every stream in exchange for a measly hundred now for some people don't don't misunderstand me don't misunderstand. a hundred is a lot 
for some people. But, but, in the context of the people that are in the upper echelon of uh, streamers and whatever, and, you know, they're in their bag already, a hundred is not a lot of money. Like, like, I've seen people turn their nose up in disgust at, at like, their max offer just being a hundred off rip for the ads incentive. And that, that, that's crazy, right? Now, on the flip side, if you're offering me, like, 36 stacks to run some ads, I'm, 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 I'm gonna do my due diligence and let my community know, hey, look, I got offered this deal. They offered me 3,600 to run these ads. I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna link y'all to an ad blocker, though. You know, you gotta help people out where you can. When it comes to big, big money like that, like, I'm, I'm gonna let people know, hey, I'm taking this deal, here is an ad blocker, use that. If you don't use that, that's on you, but I'm gonna be pressing that button like crazy. I'm gonna be pressing that button like I'm playing Dragon Ball or something. Like, you bugging if you think I'm not gonna take that, dog. Ooh, you, you got the wrong one. But like, like again, at the same time, that's stuff that impedes the viewer experience. That's not like, like when it comes to the to 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 the viewer on Twitch, they get shafted a lot of the time because it's like, damn, I gotta sit through all these ads just to watch one person. I don't have the money to sub. What do I do? Right? Again, get an ad blocker. But if you don't use one, that's on you. But they just they they go so hard so hard with these fucking ads and shit and then people keep saying both streamer and viewer alike stop we don't want that stop putting that in our face dog but again the people who manage twitch are so exceedingly out of touch with all of it that when they hear no when they Go finish your speech in hell. when our complaints reach their eardrums they don't listen they hear what we're saying but they don't actually listen to what we're saying and that's why they look so doggone bewildered when we bring this shit up to them and it's like yo maybe maybe if y'all like actually took the time to watch some streams from the smaller people and not the like huge to 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 big to like middle people maybe you would understand the viewer experience just a bit better right maybe you would get that 